hello there. Sorry from 17 once again. This is my Mirror's Edge Catalyst walkthrough. This is the fifth mission, it's called Mischief Makers. A little tip when it comes to falling, guys. Uh, there are a few indicators that you're going to do a fall that you will do that hard stop on, which you want a commando roll to cancel. The first one is your pad will start to vibrate, and then the second one is you can generally hear the wind rustle uh, a little bit stronger. That's a signifier that you're jumping a little too high to, to just land normally. Of course, you can also use your eyes and just judge it that way, because sometimes there can be very subtle differences, but those are a couple of tips to help you understand the, the distance of the falls. As we do one of those pre canned animations to finish this guy off, and it goes into wonky third person for some reason. But this is where the next mission is. You have to touch this, and then we're probably going to be running away from Freddy Krugersek, or whatever they call themselves, the tepid antagonist of this game. So let's talk story, shall we? The story in this game is, is rather interesting, in as much as to say that uh, it isn't interesting at all. I watched the first cutscene, I got so bored with it, I skipped it. I have not watched any of the cutscenes since. I literally play this game for gameplay and the challenge of, of that perfect line. That's the only reason I played it, guys. I couldn't tell you if the plot gets better. I understand the general gist of it because I watched Dark Side Phil play this game and he had incredibly harsh words for the game and unfortunately a lot of the mistakes were himself. Not Nothing new with Dark Side Phil if you're familiar with who that person is. And the story just seemed like fluff. The characters, none of them you could really relate too much to. None of them were worth caring about. Uh, it was just a bunch of, you know, future weird douchebags doing douchebaggy things. Um, generic insert, you know, utopian future that turns out to not be such of a utopia. And um, big bad corporation doing big bad corporation things. And then there's this whole plot story telling you about Faith's background, how her parents were murdered, how she has a sister. And uh, it's all, you could have written this on an etch -a sketch it, it really is that detailed and that interesting. So if you're coming for story, guys, you might really like it if you're one of those contrarian people that falls in love with terrible plots. But I just thought it was so uninspired and tepid. And at the end of the day, it was a huge barrier between running fast. And I just kind of want to run fast in this game because I find it very fun. If you're interested in seeing any more of this, I will be streaming it on my uh, Twitch channel. Doing some open world stuff and some side missions. If that takes your fancy, you can find the links to these things on my channel. But when it comes to the walkthrough, some of these missions are so short, it's very difficult for me to talk any real strategy. That was a mistake there. I should have pressed the left trigger to drop off and then hold it afterwards to do the commando roll. The key to nailing that roll, guys, is do not hold it prematurely. Press it and hold it just as you're about to land and you will almost always get that right. Be careful if you do it on a jump that does not have a big fall because you'll do the slide and sometimes it will lose momentum. If you do the slide, the moment you recover, press the right trigger to do that combat boost and you'll come out of the slide at a much faster pace. If you do it incorrectly, sometimes you'll get a roll and it'll slow you down a little bit. So it's all about that momentum, baby. All about keeping that speed up. But thank you for watching. You take care now.